In this session, we will learn about basics of graphical user interface operations in Scilab. Graphical user interface, GUI, is used to create applications that interact with humans. GUI has various controls through which, we can provide inputs to the program during its runtime, and control the execution of the program. In Scilab, we can create GUI applications using GUI module, which provides functions to create and manipulate GUI elements. Controls are user interface elements, that accept or display data. We design the application user interface using these controls, and set their properties and events as required. Now, controls are divided into three categories, basic controls, which form the building block of the interface. These controls are used to display and accept data to the user. Advanced controls are used in applications to display complex data, and improve the visual appearance of the interface. They provide unique set of flexible features and condense lot of information in one place. Container controls, group, and manage the layout of other controls. To create a control object in Scilab, we use UI control function. It takes handle of figure, or any container control as parent object. When the control is created, the properties given as parameters are set with the corresponding values, and handle of the control object is returned. Basic properties like tag, callback function, position, and constraints are required to be set when the control is created. All available properties of the UI controls, and their description are given in the UI control properties page in Scilab help. Let's take a simple example to create a push button on a figure. First we define a callback function for the push button control. We can also define this function in a separate function file. Then, we get the figure handle using the figure function. SCF function creates a new figure using this figure function. Then, in the UI control function, we pass the property name value pairs, to set up the push button object. We set the style property to push button, we set its string property to display update. We set its tag property to cmd push. Using the tag name, we can get the object of this push button from the figure object. And then, we set the callback property to the callback function. Let's run this script. When we run the script, we get a new figure with a push button control. When we click the push button, the callback function is called, which displays the message in the console. That brings us to the end of this session. Thank you for your interest and attention.